Okay, if you guys didn't watch last episode, you need to, all right? And, you know, today, we're, we're playing Athena, okay? So, last game was super, super good. Oh, no, it's Agni. <laughs> oh, I've been having bad matches all day, but that's okay. So, we're going to be playing Athena versus Agni. And to clarify, some people are really confused. I have been using the term handicap incorrectly. Handicap is when you give yourself a disadvantage because you have you have a you're better or whatever. So to clarify this this whole thing and how this is gonna work is if I get a hold on if if I get a win I immediately move on to next god. Okay. If I lose I get one more chance and then if I lose again then I go down to god. But then if I if I win, then I'll go up a cut. So if I lose, get one more chance. If I lose, go back down a cut. If I lose, then win, I go up a cut. Okay? So that's just a little bit of an advantage I'm giving myself because we are fighting, we are playing as guardians. If I did this with the assassins or hunters, I would not give myself that advantage. Okay. I forgot to use an ability out of base for extra damage. Ooh, I got his dash. That's kind of nice. He's actually predicting me quite well. Well, <laughs> that's one way to kill an Agni. Uh, he went beats, which is, you know, that's not that's a pretty good item on against Athena. But still, it's like he died really fast, like really, really fast. I was not expecting that. Uh, if he had saved his three for the wave, he would have been able to insta clear, and then I would have had some issues. That's okay. It's good for me. Cool. So now we have the advantage. Yeah, Agni's pretty good against against Guardians, but he's he's nothing like Hades or Raijin or Poseidon or Hebo. You know, any of those guys are Vulcan. He's he's a just frustrating, but he's beatable. So that's nice. I used to bat Agni a long time ago, back when I actually could afford to ban Agni. He was he's one of my my uh, comfort bans, which pretty much means, although. He's not like crazy OP or anything. I just want to ban him because I don't want to deal with him. Whereas now I have to ban gods based on how OP they are. Or how unwinnable matchups are. Let's get some nice poke. He is super low. I might be able to kill him again. Honestly. Okay. Okay, this is good. By the way, in this series, let's say my opponent, let's say he like f6 is at five that counts all right because if i if i have to if i go oh and nine or something like that that counts too so just just saying if this game's short however if that happens then i might just do a double upload i'm not saying that's going to happen because agony's late game so good but you know just for people that are wondering for possibly in the future I do not have enough mana to be fighting right now. Or do I? Or do I? Look at how much my passive is doing. Wow, he is so low. The only reason I can't kill him is because I'm out of mana. This game is going great. I'm happy with this. Dude, did you just dash in? Give me like 10 mana and I'll kill you. Oh my god, is this, he can die to minions? I would be so happy if he died to minions right now. I'm gonna die minions. I need like 10 mana. I literally need 10 mana. Oh no. <laughs> what is happening? Alright. You know what? I have the lead. I'm not gonna die to you. I should have backed a long time ago, but I'm getting back now. I could have died easily next to the red buff, but I didn't. So we're gonna back and take that little advantage. That was really stupid of me to stay with no MP5, but that's okay. Because we're still alive. Is this going to be a Book of Thoth? His late game will have so much damage if that's a late Book of Thoth. However, it's going to be hard for him to get online. Yep, it's Book of Thoth. So he's going for that late game. Ah, uh, damn this. What? Oh, I put it at an angle so he didn't get pulled all the way. I need to put an extra point in my taunt. 
I was supposed to do that level six, but I just wanted pure damage because I was snowballing so hard. Did I not hit? That was rude. Um, if I get a taunt here, I can kill him. Nice. Barely at the edge of the taunt. Very nice. Okay. I'm getting these weird lag, like tiny bits of lag when I use my when I use my dash sometimes. Hasn't happened every time, but sometimes. We'll put another point in my two. Sometimes I go into autopilot a lot during these. Like I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna put the point in my two, and then I don't because I'm just on autopilot. And you guys will notice that a lot on my full gameplays, and I, I hate it when that happens to me. I need I need to get off of this before he steals it. I don't have mana again, um, so we're just gonna run. I have zero MP5, so I can't stay. A Genji's would be nice to help us with that. Because the only reason we're having to back or we get close to dying is because we run out of mana. Now this is the Athena I know and love, right? The last time we played Athena, it was uh, rough. Let's see, what other things did I need to address in the comments? People did ask me if once I'm done with the Guardian Gauntlet, should I do it with assassins or warriors or hunters or mages? And those aren't my specialty, but if it's requested, I will do it. I'll probably do assassins next because warriors, although they're the closest to guardians, I'm not about Blackthorn right now, and that's kind of the meta for warriors. And if you don't go back Blackthorn, you lose. So we're, we'll do assassins. Plus, you know, a Willix. People love a Willix and a couple of other hunters like Arachne are super fun. Cali, I am really bad at Cali, so ooh, I don't. I'm not gonna want to upload that, but. <laughs> Callie, I'm really bad at it. And she's really good in duel, so, you know, people are going to be laughing at me at how bad I'm doing with Callie. Did he just taunt? Why would you taunt? Once I get Pollen, I'll kind of imagine how hard I'm going to hit him for. I wonder if I went Book of Thoth on Athena, because I'd give my late game scaling so much damage. It would give me so much damage late game. That my poly, poly shots would just shred people. Poly with Rod of Duty. Another point in my two. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Genji's will give us some nice MP5. I've been overvaluing uh, Voidstone lately. A little bit too much. Okay, use his beads. I use my bracer. I think that's pretty worth it. Because, you know, without my bracer, I'll still do fine. But without his beads, I can kill him next time. Uh, hello? Uh, okay, he used this. He used this too. I just need to hit him with the reach. The reach auto. Reach! Yes! Reach through the wall. I love Athena passive. It makes up for her ability that she doesn't have an ultimate. Athena can't use her ult at all. I'm skipping leveling it. I'm assuming that you guys watched the Athena game a couple episodes ago. Because if you're watching this series without watching any of the any of the duels, like I guess it doesn't make as much sense. But still, like you might want to watch one god but not another, so. But yeah, Athena you, ultimate can't even use, can't even use on yourself. Although I think you should be able to use it on yourself. Because like, let's say in Conquest, if you ult someone and they die, you can use it on yourself. And the reason that'd be useful is for taking Titan, taking Bull Demon, and possibly the mitigation for absorbing uh, someone's ult in duel. Like maybe Hebo or Vulcan. Absorbing Vulcan ult. The mitigation would help a lot. Okay, if he comes over here, we kill him. Or maybe not. I'll just take red buff. Ow. 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 Dang it. I wanted to taunt him. With my with red buff, taunt, auto, three, auto. Would have killed him. Okay, let's get Blink. Blink is good against Agni. But, oh, okay, actually, two, a couple of relics are good against Agni. Thorns, sprint, because he's going to get Jump Viso. He's going to. Every Agni gets Jump Viso. Blink to close the distance. And did I already say Thorns? Yeah, Thorns to just 
uh, walk on his path of flames and use thorns. I'm going to go with blink because if his beads are down and he's low health, I can just blink taunt three and he's dead. However, the problem with going blink here is when Agni uses his escape, Path of Flames does tick damage, which means I can't use my blink for a long time. And that can be very problematic when I'm trying to chase him at low HP, you know? Did he get defense? Yeah, he has, he has full Genjis. How did you afford full Genjis, my friend? Interesting. Another thing you do as Athena is just kind of poke down towers and objectives. I'm not going to do that right now since he's defending and defending well. I was hoping he would dash there. Okay. Okay. Dang, he used his beads. Ooh, is he going to stay to kill me? I don't know if he's staying or not. Oh, looks like he backed. Okay. We're going Obsidian because Athena doesn't really have any good pen options. Demonic is not that great, unfortunately. It sounds like it'd be great with the reach, but she just she doesn't do well with attack speed. And Spear of the Mages, she doesn't have tick damage at all. Keeping Spear stacked is a nightmare on Athena. So, Obsidian it is. Even though I hate Obsidian as an item. Obsidian Titan's Bane, I hate but the only reason I buy them is because there's not enough item variety to fill the gap that they provide. Like, you have to go pan. You know? Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Very good. Reach is hitting for... See, Reach is an ability all by itself, honestly. It adds up. And the, the later into the game you go, the higher damage Reach is going to be doing. It's great for taking objectives as well. It's like mini poly shots. If you have you have poly, then it makes poly even better. So, okay, we can take red buff. Oh, looks like he's going obsidian, not spear. That's good for me because I'm not going double defense, and spear is way better on Ari on Agni. So, that's a win-win for me. Uh, we can start working on our poly. Usually, usually I'll uh, at this point I'll go I'll go Bancroft's boots, defense item, pen, and then I will go a uh, situational item. However, here he doesn't have Bancroft's. You, my situational item against Agni a lot of times is Divine Rune, but since he doesn't have Bancroft's, I don't think we need a Divine Rune. I think uh, we're fine with our build right now. Okay, he's about to stun us. He's gonna dash, leap, I mean, dash. <laughs> Hello? I can speak. Yeah, he's dead. Good. So he doesn't have Bancroft, so although he has Bracer, I'm not gonna get Divine Rune for him yet. Because I think he probably will help us more right now. We should probably get Anti Heal somewhere in our build. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Still his buff. Also, Athena got buffed. Uh, they made it so that her three, the first instance of damage does more damage, and the second instance does less. If you hit both, it's the same amount of damage. But, you know, hitting the first part is easier to do. <laughs> Not in that situation, but it uh, it's better now. It's better now. Where's you gonna dash to? Where you gonna dash to? Hello? He wants me to dash and then he's gonna try and run away got his beads too nice all right he's only dead for 23 seconds we can't do anything with 23 seconds but we can you know clear the wave get some gold uh this is a lot of minions where did you all come from okay uh, let's actually take our blue buff too no 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 clear next wave then we'll take our blue buff okay we can afford polynomica now that is amazing Oh, for those that don't know how Athena's 1 works, uh, you, you get block stacks for when you dash through an enemy or you hit an enemy. And you can see how many block stacks you have there. So if I dash through this, I get a block stack. And it's just like Bologna's, you know, absorbs auto attacks. But you only get it if you dash or through or hit an enemy. If you just use it on its own, you don't get the block stack. 
I was confused about that when I started learning Athena, so I, I felt like others may be confused as well. I try to do that. Any mechanic that's confused me before in Smite, I try to explain that as much as I can. Why are people weird, man? Why are people weird? It's probably because I ended stream like an hour ago. And they're probably thinking, why am I, why am I playing? It's because I got to record for YouTube. I don't record these games while I'm live. I would like doing it separately. Because while I'm live, there's alerts and I got to talk to chat. And I would, f some people say I can just ignore chat while recording YouTube games. And I would feel bad doing that. So just record these while I'm off. While, like on my own time. Okay, we're level 17. Our abilities are maxed. They get maxed at 15. So now we got to, our power spike is running out. However, game more, ooh, Rang does. <laughs> no, that's too risky. Okay, he's, he's getting Bancrofts. Go into that divine rune. Perfect. I'm glad we waited for divine rune. Just to kind of counter an item, you know? Alright, cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna put the points in the alt just so it's not blinking. Some people get annoyed by that. Alright, now we're gonna do the thing. This is the thing. Use the ability, throw it at Phoenix, then run away. <laughs> Use the ability, throw it at Phoenix. <laughs> and slowly we will take it. Now I'm a little bit too low health. Go and recall. Slowly, we'll chip down the Phoenix and take it. Especially as we get more pen and power. I kind of want to get his beads. So, next fight is going to be about baiting his beads. Because if his beads are down while my blink is up, we can do like half his health. He's 1 in 7. How is he, how is he still in this game? Like, he's actually defending pretty good. Oh, hold on. Where's your beads? Where's the beads? What are you doing? Oh, he's placing a ward. There's the beads. In eight seconds, I can kill you, or once you come back. I was on the edge of that, excuse me. Got him! All right, cool. Now oh, we have to go kill that mini wave. Minions live. Please. Alright, cool. I should be able to take this. Should being the keyword. Oh, Polynomicon also with Athena Auto. It stops on whatever it's hit first. So it only hits one thing at a time. So you can't just throw it through minions. Look at that damage. Good stuff. Athena takes objective super fast. Faster faster than Ymir, actually. Which is cool. All right, we need to take this red buff. And we'll pretty much be full build. The only thing we'll have to do is get speed potion. And we don't really need that. With red buff, red buff increases our auto damage. Divine, Ruin, Polynomicon. This is like the dream build. In case we actually finish the game, uh, last item, I would sell boots for speed potion and rod of Tahuti. That would make my autos do like... 300 400 damage just on poking him oh, shame i missed that look at how much damage my reach does oh i missed it no 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 hey get over here get over yonder i braced it for the cooldowns look at that <laughs> look at that so out of reach and poly together that's 1100 damage from one item and my passive athena's passive is just an entire another ability honestly it's an entire ability in itself compare athena imagine if uh i was gonna say imagine if ymir had athena passive which i mean yeah yeah if ymir had athena passive that'd be crazy 
Although you missed passive's already good. I should be game. Yes, game. Okay, so we won with Athena. That's awesome. Okay, so that means next episode we got to play Bacchus, I believe. Okay, so ba so Athena and Ardeo I consider a safe checkpoint for me. I feel like I can guarantee a win with Athena. If I don't guarantee a win with Athena, I can come back with Ardeo. So I feel like we've passed the checkpoint. Now we the next we got to get past Bacchus and Kabrakin. That's gonna take a while. I'm just telling you guys because. They're not the best. Bacchus got buffed and Kabrakin got buffed though, so you, you never know. We could get a we could pull out a win. And then after those gods, we will have Cerberus and Cerberus Fafnir. Once I win with Fafnir, he's a definite checkpoint. Really good checkpoint right there. So I don't see us going below Fafnir and Cerberus um, once we get past that. So that'll be good. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this series. And if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the next episode because I'm realizing I've been confusing people a lot with this series. And I apologize for that. But thanks, thanks again. Have a, have a good day.